Well, hello everyone, this is C.B. Smallwood and welcome to Mental Junk Food, a place where we talk about all things comic, sci-fi, horror, fantasy, pop culture, and everything in between. And today, we got some wild and unusual news for you. You probably already heard it, and for those that haven't, I'm glad to cover it for you. <clears throat> Before we go any further, I'd like to cite my sources. This comes to you from Sky News. So if you want to cut out the middleman, you can head on over to that website, skynews.com, or it's news.sky.com. News.sky.com. And without any further ado, here's the headline. And I just want to say one thing uh, first. Uh, once I finish this article, I've actually got tons, well, maybe not tons, but quite a few. Uh, fan-made art based on this article so if you want to check that art out stay tuned to the end of the video and you'll get to see that Vatican unveils new cartoon mascot for the Catholic Church Archbishop uh, Reno oh boy uh, Fisichilla says the mascot name uh, hopefully this is pronounced Lucy or Lukey Lucy is created from the desire to enter the world of pop culture so beloved by our young people. This was written by uh, Dylan Donnelly, a news reporter. And here we go. We got the uh, the unveiling of uh, Lucy. And let me know in the comments section down below if that's pronounced correctly. But uh, there she is. And boy, oh boy, she's covered in symbolism. We've got the um, crucifix. We've got the rosary beads. We've got this uh, little thing here. Uh, not sure what to do is with the stick. We've got uh, the seashell and the eyes and then um, the colors represent stuff apparently. So here we go. The Vatican has unveiled a new mascot for the Catholic Church in the hope of engaging young people. A cartoon character named Lucy. Archbishop Reno uh, Fisicella, the Vatican's chief organizer for the church is upcoming Jubilee year, said the mascot was created from the desire to enter into the world of pop culture so beloved by our young people. <clears throat> Named after a Latin word for light, so however, however you pronounce the Latin word should give us a clue, uh, the mascot was designed by the, by, sorry, Simone uh, Legano, the Italian co-founder of lifestyle brand Tokidoki, which is inspired by Japanese culture. He also designed uh, Lucy's Pilgrim Friends. Uh, I'll uh, be sure to have an image of that handy. Uh, Fee, Zen, and Sky. Hopefully I didn't butcher those. Archer, uh, <laughs> Archbishop described Lucy's design features as the typical element of the Pilgrim, pointing to her shining eyes and symbol of the hope of the heart. The image represents a happy union between Christian symbols and Japanese culture, he added. According to the Catholic News Agency, the Vatican's uh, Dicastery for Evangel <laughs> Evangelation, <laughs> whatever, will host a space dedicated to Lucy and friends at uh, Luca Comics and Games Convention in Italy on Wednesday. So this is probably done over with. <clears throat> but, Wow! Uh, besides my uh, typical butchery of names, uh, what do you think about this? This is pretty wild, you know, that the Vatican, uh, the Catholic Church, has uh, uh, basically uh, commissioned somebody to create a uh, mascot for the kids. I mean, uh, you know, I don't know. There's so many things that you can look at it uh, religious-wise for those of you that are Christian. <clears throat> And then uh, there's secular ways of looking at it as well. And it's just, it's just very interesting, you know. <clears throat> I've also, like I promised at the end of this video, I'm going to have a lot of fan art. I don't know who done all this stuff. I, did, I just did a quick Google search. <laughs> so you could probably find the very same images on Google search. Because, you know, a lot of people, a lot of artists right now are very excited about this character for one reason or another. Because of... Of, I don't know just the raw potential of, of where they can take it for some reason uh, So it's it's the talk of the town the talk of the town and uh, You know as always uh, CB Smallwood saying, uh, you know, I'll see you in the next video